this morning I'm going to show some of the stuff the vlogging stuff I bought for my GoPro which I haven't started using as yet with all that said let's jump right into it <laughs> is the Ulanzi plastic case this is the different ways that you can use it cool shoe mount at the top with a back door you press here and you slide to remove the door it has a latch right here which locks it in it's plastic and it's light with its very very light in a feature video i will show the setting up of this piece that's one i also have two GoPro adopters that's for the case it would be still on the I won't open the other one because you all have a basic idea also have this microphone it comes the mic the serum let me see if I pronounce that right seromonic mic I hope I got it right it has this rubber muff on it and underneath it has a, a dead cat with a little warranty slip uh, 
I also have a, a vlogging setup. Comes with two cold shoe mounts, an adjustable. That's for the, your phone. A knob at the back, which you turn when you put your phone in. You tighten. You could set it up on a tripod. It comes with two lights. Which I will be showing uh, the setting up in another video. your two lights it also has a bluetooth a remote this is the bluetooth remote you pay it with your phone you put it in here and you put it on <clears throat> you put it like this and you have your remote right here while you're doing your, your vlogging it is a stabilizer which instead of holding the phone in your hand you can use that Because uh, when the phone is in your hand, any movement, it would pick it up via the mic. It's a good stabilizer, two lights. The lights are similar to the one I showed you all uh, some time ago. This is a, a dimmer, two pen light batteries. Actually, I have the other light right here. This is what the light looks like I have batteries in this one already this is the on off switch and also a dimmer so when you turn that's dim let me turn that away and that's bright as you can see dim the only thing with the light it's one it doesn't have shades different shades so you would have to improvise 
although it's very dim but you could change the color instead of white you can change the color I also got myself this it comes in its pouch I will also do a video with it forever come it has protective lens you could also change uh, filters which I bought some UV filters for it already and also back door a little it has a ball bay right here which keeps it from coming out the only problem with that you cannot remove your GoPro from it. The door has to come out completely. But I guess that, that, that is there for if in case you're out in the woods. Yeah, to put it back in you have to press but <clears throat> this let me show you the accessories it came with that's for the bottom that's if you intend to use it It has its lanyard that's for the top and it also have the screws with it but I won't be using it like the way it is there because of the gopro and the problem with audio i bought this to go with it which I'd be showing the installation in another video I would be placing that right here so my GoPro adopter would be able to go into this it's a bit heavy it's heavier than that's alloy al aluminium and this one is plastic 
you know some people would rather that because of the lightness but the way I look at things some people love different models on mix of cars you like a Toyota somebody else would like a Mushibishi both of them has the advantages and disadvantages it's not only the weight this can take a fall and crack I do not know the texture of the material it's made of but you could use them for different different sceneries that will take a fall being it's rigid the the gopro inside might shock this may take a fall crack and also damage the gopro you see they have the ups and downs but i like both of them it doesn't matter about heavier lighter and plus when this comes on here you know it's i bought the gopro for almost i would say 400 dollars on amazon when it came to saint lucia i am in the caribbean getting things on amazon it has to go to florida stay about two to four days in florida then the shipping agency take it to saint lucia when it comes to saint lucia i have to pay handling fees i have to pay for the weight and customs comes down on you when the gopro land in saint lucia i paid 300 and something dollars i can't remember exactly but 300 and something dollars to clear it so for me to buy something that i believe will protect it it's it's good i would be compiling the prices of everything i bought for the gopro and uh, that's what i paid for it on amazon and when it comes to st lucia when it arrives down here for me to collect it what i had to pay i'm paying double the price just see a free four four something for you could just say 400 i think it was 4.99 or something like that at the time i bought the gopro that's 4.99 us when it came down here i had to pay 300 and something ec one ec is two uh 68 us one us is 268 ec so you can see the amount of money that i paid for this stuff I love what I do. I love um, experimenting. That's one of the reasons you see I have or oh, I'm buying all these things. For the YouTubers that are just starting off like me, I won't advise you all to invest so much. If you have a GoPro, you could have just the basic that you would need that definitely you would need this you know for you to get a good um good audio and and so forth you don't need all these things i have there if you don't have a gopro and you have a phone then you could invest in a stabilizer 
like this because when you hold the phone in your hand and you move your hand around you tend to hear some scratches you know but do not do like me and invest in all what you see there it's my passion i love inventing i love using my hands making things you know looking for new ideas this is another accessory i have which most of these things is as i go on or setting up then i would see what to do or what can i do because while doing things my brain keeps working i invent in uh, i invest in uh power supply because the gopro batteries doesn't last it don't last at all so i got myself a external power bank for the gopro the last one for today another microphone i haven't tested it as yet i couldn't go for these expensive mics so i took one of the amazon Amazon basic this is it it's battery operated on and off switch uh, from 0 to 10 dBs this one I don't know the functions of it I haven't gone through the manual as yet but I will be testing it out to see how good it performs and I would be doing it on camera so y'all can see it comes with batteries which is not common a filter a carrying bag this should have the other batteries which you could get very easily but i don't know how long the batteries would last but i bought a case of that for if in case it's always wise i wouldn't be able to get that in st lucia i am in st lucia the caribbean i wouldn't be able to get that down here so i ordered a case with it you unscrew here you put your battery in here and uh, you screw it back since i don't know when i'll be using it yet i won't put the battery in it to show you all the functions of it 
this is half of my accessories for my GoPro. Again, for you new YouTubers, do not do what I do. I invest a lot in uh, my GoPro. I love what I do. It's a passion. I love working with tools. I love inventing. I love putting things together. I love destroying things. It's what I do. I get a, a pleasure in doing that. So I spend a lot on gadgets, on tools. If you want to start your YouTube channel, just go basic. Right now I have a camera, a Samsung camera doing all my videos. You can start like that until you feel you need something else. I would advise you to get a mic. Get a mic because certain things you'll be doing, the audio of the phone, although it's good, but it won't be that good. Right now I have a, a headset using which I bought. I took it out to show you all, but I'm using it. So I bought for this purpose. I don't know when I'll use the GoPro as yet. I hope it's working. Although I put it on, I, I, um, I set it up and everything. But I want when I start to have everything. I won't be using all what that's there. But at least there are times you would find yourself in a situation that you would say, if I knew. Instead of I saying that, I bought the things I think I need. I don't have a studio. I do not have a studio. And I don't know where or what part in the house to set up a studio. A place where I could be private yet, but I'm getting there slowly, but surely. If you like this uh, video and the things I demonstrate here today, give me the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let go, you decide if you